Mudzer One channel. We're doing an on location video today. Remember when they used to do on location videos, Chris? <laughs> yeah, it's a while ago. Pack us a lip. So I wanted to do a walkthrough of the Shelby because uh, I showed my car, I don't know, gosh, maybe a year or two ago, two years ago. Everybody wanted me to do a walkthrough and I just completely forgot. Now it's been getting dusty sitting here today, but anyway. Um, we're gonna pack us a lip because this is a dipping channel. What's a dipping channel? Mud jug one? Well, it's a channel where we put dip on our lip. But we do have a new mud jug to spit in. Whoa. Woo! It's a new Blue Hay Stealth. Look at that shit, Chris. Whoa! Dude, it's that Breaking Bad. It looks like Breaking Sick Bad, bro. Sick right there, bro. Sick. <laughs> so, anyway, the Shelby. This is a 2016. I've had this car for over three years. I have 3,700 miles on it only. That's it? it? Shows you how much I drive it, yeah. It's a 2016 Mustang Shelby GT350. Now they quit making these now because they're coming out with the GT500. I want everybody, I don't want people to know that. They're coming out with the GT500 2020. So this is the last version of the Shelby that they actually make with a stick. The new GT500 will come with paddle shifters and everybody's pissed off. That's not a real muscle car, but little do they know you can actually shift a lot faster. But Anyway, this thing has a 5.2 liter flat plane crank motor, which is, the revs on this thing are ridiculous. Uh, red line is 82.50 to give you an idea. This car is not like insanely fast. It might do zero to 60 and maybe 3.9, but it's so fun to drive. You can smoke the tires in third gear, whip donuts like nothing. And as you could tell by the beginning, it's loud as shit. So. Anyway, this is the, let's come over here, Chris. This is the track pack. You have the option of getting the technology pack, which has all the fancy shit in it, the, the bigger screen, the navigation. That's an extra $7,500, which I didn't want. This is the track uh, package, which, um, oh, by the way, look at that. Got the Predator Roadie in here, boy. Get a shot of that? Oh, yeah. So I like to keep a roadie in here because a regular classic doesn't fit in my cup holder. This is actually nice and tight. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, um, so they made about 3,000 of this year, 3,000 units of this year, 2016 track pack. I'm hoping that one day it might be worth some money because it's a Shelby and it has low miles. They even have a chassis number on the dash. I don't know if you can get that, Chris. So this car is a little small. Mustangs are not very big cars and I'm a pretty big dude and I have a hard time fitting in these fancy racing Recaro seats when the seats back I mean show everybody how much rooms back there I mean nobody's gonna sit nobody's gonna fit show down here like the lack of leg room when the seats are back for a guy who's 6 2 um, there might be people watching this video that aren't dippers or fans of the channel that might just want to you know know about a GT 350 so anyway Let's pop the hood. I'm gonna pop the hood and people probably want to see the hood. I do want to pop the trunk too because I want to show some people some shit back there. So I special ordered this car direct from the factory, a factory in Wisconsin and they trucked it out to me. It's so funny because for weight purposes, this car comes with no spare. <laughs> Jesus. So I had to go online and buy a tire and a wheel Sorry, I bought a wheel online and then I got a tire at a tire shop, just a cheapie, that would fit in my trunk to give me a spare tire. Because if you lift this up, which I won't, but there's no spare under there. And they say it's because of weight. But, you know, you throw that thing in there and that adds some weight. You, actually, when I have a passenger, it doesn't matter how big they are. If it's Jesse Ryan, well, it's a little bit extra weight versus Chris Dipps. <laughs> But um, when I'm a passenger and I'm whipping donuts and, and you know tearing it up, I notice the difference with just the passenger in there. It, it does make a difference, believe it or not. Anyway, I haven't burnt these tires off yet because I you know I haven't uh, driven the damn thing enough really to I'm kind of scared because every time I drive it, every time I drive it, you know I drive it hard and. I'm over. <laughs> so I ordered the racing stripe on here when I got this thing. You know, all that happy horse shit. Kind of wish I would have got the avalanche gray now, like my Tundra is. But anyway, so I don't know if people 
care, but they they have this fancy, you know, signed, hand-built with pride shit. But a lot of people say, oh, wow, that's a nice Mustang. And I kind of get offended by that because if you compare a regular Mustang GT to a Shelby GT350, there's really no comparison. The motor is completely different. The suspension is different. The brakes are different. The performance and the way that they sound are hugely different. So I call this my Shelby, I don't call it my Mustang. This thing has 526 horsepower, the new GT500 is supposed to have 775. <laughs> you imagine? You never keep those tires from spinning, man, because I can spin the tires in third gear, no problem. You take traction control off, it is just insane. It's really insane. You know, I'll keep this car for another 30, 40 years and maybe it'll be worth some money. Uh, they're kind of holding their value now. Still, believe it or not, everybody wants the 500s, but that'll change because, you know, the, the, the 350s are the last ones they made with a stick and probably will be the last ones ever to be made with a stick, so. We were going to try and use the car in, a, in the movie, The Dip Run. I don't know if you guys know, we made a movie called The Dip Run. By the way, it, it, it comes out, it should be out already, finally on, on iTunes. We've got the long cut version out now, and it's better, it's funnier, it's edited better. It is on Amazon as well. Nobody could find the movie so on Amazon before, so hopefully now people can find it. So in conclusion, I paid 10 grand over for this car, 10 grand over sticker, and the 500s are gonna be about, they're about 25 to 30 grand over sticker, which means it's gonna be at about 100,000 for the GT500, I can't afford that. But the best part of this car is the ass in. I'm an ass guy as it is, and uh, maybe if you get down here, Chris, you can, you know, this is the best angle. I don't really like the way the car looks from the side. It looks too short, choppy on the back end. It, it has that fastback look, but anyway, it's about it. Grab you a Blue Haze Stealth. I'll leave it with this. So always be a man and reach for that can, because if it ain't dip, it ain't shit. And if you are dipping it, you better be spitting it. I'm out. <laughs>that came out was kind of corny but it was actually kind of funny yeah Believe it or not it was good for a laugh and i hear they're making another one i don't know i want to know if there's any predator fans out there but we figured it